Okay, so uh, Latifa, uh, tell me where you work. I work in Yabda, in Yabda Borough County, okay. as a nurse. Okay, so... Uh, older people. Yeah. Who are sick, and right now is it COVID-19. Mm. Okay, so uh, how, how, do you, how do you care for people with um, shortness of breath? We use morphine and something called midazolam, mm -hmm. so, muscle relaxing. So they're not Inject. getting they're not getting any oxygen. No oxygen. Okay. No. Talk to, to a lot of people about it. We need the oxygen. Oxygen. It, it's uh, it's people who are dying. It's it's horrible. So how many patients do you think have died without oxygen that you have witnessed firsthand with your eyes, so to speak? A couple. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know any numbers, but maybe ten. Ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I know there is a lot more who is not in my care. Yeah. But yes. it's important that there are a lot, a lot of other people like you. Why do you think? Do you think your colleagues uh, would be afraid to step forward? Yes, I think so. But you're not afraid to be uh, public on this. No, I'm not. Mm. Because this is what ha this is what happened. You know, someone needs to talk about it. We don't. We can't hide it. You're a very brave woman, Latifa Lovenberg. Okay, uh, thank you. I don't know if I am. But... Yes, you are. You are brave because uh, you're you're uh, you're brave. We'll talk about that. So, do you think out of those ten patients who died? Do you feel like they suffered more because they didn't get uh, oxygen? Of course they did. Of mm. course. 